Pisces, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this, Pisces, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back, Pisces. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader and really looking forward to sharing this message with you that can feel like a personal reading. Uh, whilst that is amazing, it's not always the case. Sometimes just pieces will resonate, but don't underestimate those. Sometimes none of it will, that's okay as well. Just leave it for whoever it does. Okay, so I've pulled the It's Time to Release Negativity card, Full Moon in Scorpio. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Pisces. You may have a, a Scorpionic placement in your natal birth chart. Releasing negativity. It might not be necessarily like negativity, but it feels like there is some kind of uh, block to action here or, or block to following through with something. The Scorpionic energy is the, the death card in the Major Arcana. So it could be that you're trying to move through the block of, let's say, releasing a situation that isn't growing, isn't serving you. You know, you might be trying to weigh that up. Um, that's the energy that I'm really feeling with. It's like a, a release to rebirth or a letting go to liberate. And the full moon energy coming through is very much about completion of cycles, completion of situations. All right, let's, all right, okay, we've been told. I've actually got those two. I'm going to take those. I am working with the Divine Initiation Oracle and the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot today. I will link these absolute stunners down below for you. But what has jumped out is, wow, trust the signs and divine manifestation. Okay, so it's very clear to me that Pisces, you are wanting to move towards something new that feels like a leap of faith or feels like maybe, uh, you know, it's at the edge of your comfort zone, right? You could be wanting to, you know, relocate, create a business, go out on your own, uh, manifest that divine partner. It's something different from where you are right now, maybe greater abundance. Now, maybe you have started feeling into that path. You might have even, you know, started planning, started moving towards that. And you're being asked to trust the signs, right? What are they telling you? Are you seeing the, this is the 1111 card? If you're seeing that, it's like the universe going, okay, come on, Pisces, take the next baby step, take the next baby step. So you're trying to make something happen here. It's time to move past the blocks, get out of your own way and keep following through. All right, let's carry on. I think they are really lined up those cards. So maybe this is your sign, this reading is your sign all right let's keep going the seven of wands yeah okay because the seven of wands is like okay it, there is it's hard work right the seven of wands for me is like we've really got to push and be determined i find that whenever we're starting a, a new path it's almost like you've got the the uphill phase first right and you know, the hard work, the forward investment of time, of effort, of energy, the going out of the comfort zone, feeling a little bit dysregulated in the nervous system. But if you can push through that part, you know, that's when you get the, the rewards. That's when you get the wins. So the seven of wands, it feels like you're starting, a, you know, a, a, a path here that might feel like a bit of a journey, like a winding road. You're being asked to deeply tune into your intuition and know that, you know, the, the perceived struggles that you are facing are nothing that you cannot handle. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles is about, you know, what support do you need in this journey? Who do you need around you? What resources do you need? What learning do you need? Well, get that together. The Three of Pentacles is the earthly realization of the Empress energy. She is the creation energy that wants to, to birth with you, through you, this amazing manifestation, right? So it's saying here that this can come into fruition. You know, it's, it's directly proportional to the energy that you invest in this. Queen of Swords, Justice in the Minor Arcana. And this is really saying that we're going to need to get utmost clarity on the direction that you're heading here because that is going to be your motivation for keep going come back to the why why you started this what this is going to do for your life and keep making the decisions the adjustments the changes towards that so that's the queen of swords libra energy ten of pentacles yeah i i feel like this is really to do with setting yourself up 
you know, financially or long-term success, security, maybe with assets, maybe with a home, maybe through your career. They would be 10 of pentacles themes. And you've got that goal in mind, but it's like you've got to go up that first start of, side of the mountain first. But this is a sign that says if you do commit to that path, Pisces, and trust the signs and keep moving forward, then you absolutely, three of wands, can make this, uh, you know, manifest two number threes in the reading, you know, that is the, the creation number. And the three of wands says, like, you can feel your ships coming in. You can feel the success on the horizon. No, it hasn't arrived yet because you're still in the seed planting stage. But my goodness, you know, we know that what comes after that phase, like the, the fall and the winter, is the summer where we experience the growth, where we yield the harvest of what we have invested in. And I'm going to end on this one because this is the Scorpionic energy of the death card that we uh, started talking about with this card. So this is the perfect bookend to close us out. This is transformation. This is going to transform your life. But again, it's about shedding the old skins, you know, shedding the old skins and really moving in alignment with what you need to to make this happen. So the death card is like a whole new cycle opening that's going to bring long-term abundance. This is your sign to walk the path. Yes, it's a front load of energy and time investment, maybe even some money invested for some of you. Keep the vision, keep the why, and keep tracking towards it, all right? Things are going to transform, but there might also be... Uh, things that you're needing to let go of along the way in this journey, all right? So there might be people that are not conducive to this. There might be other circumstances that really are a block or putting you in energy that is just not, uh, you know, supportive and congruent with what you're trying to create here. So major creation, keep going, trust the signs, and things will turn around and transform in your life. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check out what I offer there. I'll also link you to my Instagram and TikTok accounts. I'm very active and interactive on both of those uh, with a bit more personal sharing as well. And what else? Um, oh, there's a free Learn Tarot quick guide if you'd like to get started reading the cards and two paid options to learn tarot with me. I have an introduction to intuitive tarot that is reading from the heart, the intuition, not the guidebook. And I also have a signature course where I teach a full foundation in tarot and my professional reading process. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm sending love and magic. Bye for now.